Hey, howdy. Let's do, a, do another uh, little boxing for, you know, my, my Black Friday purchases. You're going to see a lot of these videos. <laughs> um, or not. You might not be interested in watching other videos. You may have just looked up the knife you bought. Um, and that's okay, too, I guess. All right. So, we got here a nice little... Uh, Petrified fish labeled microfiber cloth. Very neat. All right. So get into the uh, the knife here. Oh, I don't think I even mentioned the name of the, the knife here. So it's the uh, Petrified Fish Scout Liner Lock at the uh, Blue G10. And it has a 14C28N Sandvik steel. That's uh, actually pretty good steel. Um, you know, for, for being a, a lower like budget steel it's actually a pretty good one and got a flipper front flipper which actually is really nice uh opening action see it's a little bit tougher to get to close there I, like i guess just you notice know, kind of the finger there uh, getting in there to access that lock bar is actually kind of hard to get to so uh i guess first thing i noticed oh how to <laughs> you know close and open it all right front flipper there all right um, that looks cool, I think. Um, yeah, it looks really neat. All right. And, uh, thing is, you know, I, I say it looks cool. Um, and, uh, you know, if I, um, if I bought the knife, then I probably thought it looked cool, right? <laughs> um, that being said, I, you know, sometimes forget what things uh, look like. So, <laughs> you know, by the time it actually, you know, comes in the mail or whatever, and I bought a million knives because I buy a ton of them, you know, I might not uh, exactly remember uh, what it looked like when I bought it. I just remember it looked cool at the time. So it looks like it's got the... Uh, designer's name on there it looks like david chen so on, a, on the pocket clip there i don't know if you could see that or not i was trying to hold it up to camera but i might have just been looking at it and not showing it to you guys but yeah david chen okay this i have a hard time remembering that i need to be showing the camera what i'm what i'm looking at because i have a tendency to to pull it up close to me so I can look at it and then it, it may or may not be in the camera view. So try to remember that. So, all right, let's look at that centering. That looks centered. Yeah, looks really. Yeah, that's a, uh, that looks good. Yeah, everything's uh, put together well, feels like. Don't feel the pivot moving in my finger if I jiggle it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that uh, flipping action's real good. A um, little bit on the skinnier side, um, like you know, thin this way, which can make it a little bit harder to kind of manipulate in your fingers and move around. Um, did I put that knife away? Ah, I I did uh, just barely. I just did the. Um, unboxing for this uh this brs uh navajo um and uh i was saying you know like this one's front flipper is it's kind of hard to access like it's kind of hard to do but you can do it um and uh this one here it's it feels easier to actually like get to go but because it's so narrow it kind of like turns a little bit um but yeah that's a lot um as far as you know being a this, I feel like, is primarily designed as a front flipper, right? Like, trying to... Can't really get in that little hole right there to flick it that way or get it with your thumb. It's buried in there a little bit too deep to be able to open any other way. So, if you are a front flipper, you better, you know, very well be able to flip, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, there's no... You know, not really a front flipper if you can't do that. So, um, this one right here... It's a little harder to do. You can do it, um, but I think that, you know, you know, doing a little spidey flicker or whatever they call that um, is a lot uh, 
a lot easier than the uh, the front flipping on that one. Anyways, back to back to the knife we're reviewing, right? You guys could watch that video if you want. Um, yeah, uh, I have not owned anything by Petrified Fish, so it's my first uh, first little go at it, and uh, feels well made. Um, you know, G10 scales there. It's kind of quite thin on that little portion there. If you really crank on it, you can kind of bend the G10 a little bit there. It's quite thin. Um, granted, this is not going to be your, you know, your hard use knife. Um, and, uh, you are, you do have steel liners along the insides right there. So it's not like you're not bending the main part of the knife. Right. Um, like, and yeah, but it feels firm. feels like good lockup feels secure. So as far as, you know, that goes, um, yeah, like that deep carry pocket clip on there. So, yeah, that uh, that will do. And that's a nice, slim, small profile uh, knife. Maybe you should like kind of show something. I feel like I'm I'm not the greatest at remembering to uh, show some uh, good size comparisons, right? To kind of let people know what they look like. So maybe I'll pull out a couple of knives right there. So there is a. That's a full-size um, Benchmade Griptilian. Um, these are just some custom grips I put on there, as, uh, or scales, because I really don't like the uh, the, the grippery scales that uh, Benchmade puts on them. Um, I, that's not, oh, I guess that's a good size comparison for that one, if they didn't compare the size in the last video. So that, uh, that kind of helps show what the size is there. Um, it's another common knife. Um, Here's your Benchmade bug out and uh, just your standard bug out, not the mini. And then um, here's your Spider Codelica. So yeah, so you can kind of see this kind of falls in that like, you know, bug out, you know, Delica-ish kind of size range. Um, yeah, it's, you know, nice, small, good EDC size. So anyways... Yeah, not too bad for a little uh, thirty dollar front flipper. Feels pretty good. Well, I think it's like thirty two or something like that. But you know, thirty something dollar uh, knife feels pretty good though for uh, for that. So, anyways, there you go. Your petrified fish scout liner lock. So, all right, you know that should be it for me. So you guys have a good one. Bye.